Hey everyone, Ella here for your bar basics stretch today. Uh, so I want you to make your way to the top of your mat and bring yourself onto your knees. Sitting up nice and tall here on the top of the knees. You're gonna take one foot forward, big step. Good. So you have the option to stay here at 90 or to deepen your stretch by sending your knee forward. Now make sure these knees don't never go over the front toes. In the lunge position, in a parallel lunge position, it's really important that your knee stays right over top your ankle. This is a strong foundation to protect your knee joint. All right, take the opposite arm to leg here and take a side bend. Now I forgot to mention, if a kneeling position at home doesn't feel awesome for you, I want you to go ahead and either fold up your mat or grab a cushion and place it underneath your knees to ensure that you are comfortable as you stretch. Keep breathing. And then come back to center. From here, you're gonna interlace the fingers in front of you and you're gonna scoop and tuck your tailbone. So I want you to feel rounded through your back body, but the shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Nice deep focus breath. Option to rock side to side, opening up through your front hip flexor and through the upper back, breathe. Some work. Come back to center, interlace the fingers behind you. Let's press the thumbs into the low back, push the uh, elbows together, and then lift through your front body. Now this lift here is straight up and down. So we don't want you to over arch through the back or crunch through the back of the neck. We want a nice long front body and we want to take deep intentional breaths every time. If you want to deepen the stretch, Go ahead and take uh, an extension through the elbows here without compromising the alignment in the back of the neck or the chest. Breathe one more time. And then gently release, coming back to center, kneeling down nice and strong and tall. Shake it a little bit if you felt a little bit of tension in the legs. And we're gonna do that stretch one more time. So coming all the way back up. Nice deep focus breath, taking a big step forward with the opposite leg. Now you have the option to deepen this into a deep knee lunge, or you wanna stay right here nice and strong at 90 degrees. The most important thing to remember is that front knee never goes over the toes. Big inhale, taking the opposite arm to leg up overhead, and then exhale, go ahead and find that side stretch. Opening up through the side body, breathing as you go. If you feel tension in the body, I want you to breathe that tension away. So we're taking three deep, intentional breaths with every stretch today. It's about 15 to 30 seconds, which is about what you want to ensure that you're getting the most for your flexibility. Interlace the fingers in front of you, tuck the chin to your chest, round out through your back. So elbows stay wide, but not higher than the shoulders. So you wanna be relaxed, but also at the same time in the proper alignment. You have the option to rock side to side. Remember, you're scooping and tucking that tailbone underneath you. You're gonna feel that in the hip flexor, breathe. And then make your way back to center. So reversing the stretch, opening up to your front body. So you can start with thumbs at the sacrum, push the elbows together, open up through that front body. So the rib cage stays knitted, but the chest stays open. Right? Then you have the option if you want to extend through your elbows to deepen your stretch. Gaze goes up towards the ceiling, but the neck doesn't crank back. One more deep focus breath here. And then gently release, come back onto your knees, shake it all out. We're gonna find ourselves on all fours. So coming onto all fours right here, take the palms underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. Finding yourself in a neutral position, pushing down into the floor. We're gonna work through a cat and cow pose. So I want you to tuck your chin to your chest, scoop your tailbone underneath you. I want you to find some space between the top of the head and the tailbone, and in between each of the vertebra. Good. You'll notice that I'm gonna rock a little side to side. I'm finding all those little sticky bits in the body that are still holding some tension. Now breathe right into them. Keep pushing palms into the floor, knees into the ground, opening up to the back, and then go ahead and reverse that stretch, taking your gaze towards the ceiling, tailbone towards the sky. 
opening up through your chest muscles, releasing your spine, creating space between your sits bones, and again, feel free to rock side to side, find those little bits that might be really needing that extra bit of love today. Now back to neutral, I want you to work through these two positions on your own. So whenever you feel a tightness, I want you to stop, take a nice deep focused breath, and then release that tightness on your exhale as you move through both of these postures. Really articulating through the spine as you go, connecting the movement to your breath. <sighs> Finding the edge of each position. coming back into a neutral position here. Draw the toes together, widen through the knees, and then drop back into your child's pose. So in this position, I want you to relax the belly muscles in between the thighs. Connect the thumbs together as you reach the fingertips long towards the edge of the mat. Push your sits bones down into your heels, and then just breathe. You feel a good stretch through your side body all the way down into your seat. You feel a strong release and relax through those belly muscles. Feels good to let them go, right? Deepening our side stretch, we're going to reach both hands to the right side of our mat. Press our left sits bones down towards the heels. Feeling the stretch in the outer line of the left side of the body. And on every exhale, just reaching those fingertips a little further forward, connecting those thumbs, nice deep focus breath. And then the opposite side of your mat. So work your way through center, and then the opposite side. Ooh, this stretch feels so good. So you may notice that it feels different on one side of the body than the other. That is normal. We tend to be stronger or more flexible on one side. It's a good thing to take note of so that when you are working in your practice at the bar or with the weights, that you know that you're not overcompensating on one side of the body. Find your breath. Go ahead and make your way back to center. One more deep focus breath in this position. Go ahead and relax the forehead down into the floor. See if you could connect a little deeper, release a little more with every exhale. And roll up through the spine one vertebra at a time to come all the way back to your kneeling position. So we're gonna shift our weight onto our sits bones and work through a butterfly stretch to finish today. So go ahead and take uh, the soles of your feet together, heels and toes together, and let's start with letting our butterfly wings fly. <clears throat> awesome, so you can play with the distance of your heels to your hips. Some people feel really comfortable um, with the heels closer to the hips. Others feel really comfortable with them further away. There's no right or wrong answer here. It's whatever your body wants to do today. You decide. What's really important is that we stay relaxed and released right in the hip joint and through the hip flexors. We're gonna work through uh, a rounded back again and a lifted chest. So we'll take our hands onto our shins, big inhale. And as you exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. You're gonna round your back. We want you to scoop and tuck your tailbone underneath you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Breathe into your back body. <sighs> Breathe all the way down into your hips. And then we're gonna reverse that stretch. So I want you to push your pelvis forward, find the tops of your sits bones, lengthen through your front body. Again, don't crank the neck, just lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Awesome job, one more time. Through both positions, tucking the tailbone underneath you, rounding out through the spine, tucking the chin to the chest, feeling a good stretch from the top of the head down to the tailbone, breathe. And then reversing that stretch. Taking the gaze towards the ceiling, lifting to the front of the chest, big inhale, good, good, good. Feeling the stretch of the pubic bone all the way up to the chin. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears, breathe. Good, and from here, we're gonna draw our forehead down to our heels. So starting by tucking your chin to your chest and then gently round forward, just to a place that feels comfortable. Now be careful that you don't 
pull on your feet here or your toes. They can be really sensitive. You also don't want to be pushing too deeply into your knees in this position. Just wherever is comfortable, hands on the shins is perfect. And just let the natural turnout of your hips take place as you breathe. I want you to imagine your breath coming all the way down the spine and in between your sits bones. Imagine your breath traveling from your sits bones all the way down to your knees and from your knees, releasing and relaxing as it travels all the way down into your toes. Good. And then from here, you're gonna roll up one vertebra at a time till you come all the way to a seated position. Go ahead and cross your legs and we're gonna take three deep focused breaths to finish today. So find yourself in a comfy position, hands on the knees, shoulders relaxed, chest is open, and you're gonna close your eyes. Big inhale. And then exhale, release any tension that you have in the body. Another big inhale. Taking note of the energy as it moves through the body and then exhale, release. And on your final inhale, you're gonna thank your body for serving you today. And as you exhale, open your eyes. And I hope you enjoyed today's stretch. Hey Bar Babes, it's Ella here. I hope you're feeling zen after that stretch. Be sure to like this video and leave a comment below because I love to hear from you. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button so you never miss another workout at the bar. Till next time.